platform jewelwebsites.com in today's video i'm going to show you how to use json to retrieve multiple data okay so i uh, had created a similar video before but uh, that was just to create a login page but in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to use json to retrieve multiple data okay and the best thing about this video is that i'm going to use php it is the most popular framework uh, it is not a framework but it is a programming language that is used by several programmers to create websites so using javascript i mean jquery and php you can create really powerful applications with the help of json web services so the login example i will link that video in the description um that was a simple example just to check whether the user is there in the database or no but in this video i'm going to show you how to retrieve multiple data okay this video was requested by several people so that's the reason i'm creating this video so even if you would like to get some information about some other thing don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section i'm going to help you out with that i will help you out with that okay uh, it should be related to web development obviously <laughs> um so retrieving data using uh, json and using json is really simple i'm going to show you how it's done okay using php i'm going to create a json web service using php so stay tuned guys and keep watching the video till then so guys in this video i'm going to show you how to create this type of web service using php okay so this what you're seeing over here is json data that is outputted by the get answers.php file okay so when if you call this url on the web browser you will see the json data outputted so you see that this json data is for multiple values okay so this is the value 1 this is the value 2 this is the value 3 and so on so it can have more than 100 values also there is no problem at all so I'll show you the simple steps to get this set up for your application. So first of all, you'll have to create the file in the PHP that is in the server side. It cannot be created in the client side. So make sure that the web service file is in the in the client uh, in the server side, okay? Because it is created using PHP and PHP is a server application. It is not a client application language it is a client uh, it is a server uh, server side language okay php so after you create the file the first things you need to create is a config.php file the config.php file will just have a simple database connection code okay so search, uh, creating a database connection code is really simple okay uh, if you do not need a database connection to fetch your values that are the multiple values you do not need to create the config.php file so what i've done is i've created the config.php file i've entered my database values there the connection code is over there the database connection code and just about uh, before including the in the file the database connection code i've mentioned some headers so these are the headers that are really important so if you do not put this headers that i have highlighted over here i hope you can see it clearly so one second i'm just uh, zooming in view increase font size so these are the headers that you need to put in in the web service file that is get answers.php this is a get answers.php file by the way this is really important to put because you will get errors like cross origin errors if you go to the console if you are trying to access this web service using jquery post dollar post then you have to use it just like the way i used it in the sim in the previous example the login page example so this headers are really important so i've just turned on error reporting so that in case there is any error then if there is any error then i will come to know about the error so i've turned on error reporting as simple as that <laughs> um okay so there's an 
I've just put an if condition. This if condition is not really useful for this. Uh, as I'm selecting star, what I generally do is I try to get the value. So the value is get got by the URL itself. So if we use dollar underscore get, we are able to provide values. If, suppose if you want to pass some value, we can directly pass it from using this. This is the value. Okay, I've used UID over here. Okay, this is. I hope this is understandable for you. So um, you can use that value like uh, in the where clause. Suppose if I'm typing where ID is equal to okay, so this is an example where you can use the values that are sent by the URL. You can even send the data the some parameters using post okay it's not uh, always advisable to use the get method but if you use get method as you see you can directly open the you can finally see what is the output directly by uh, entering the values in the url but it is not so secure that's all i'm going to say it's only good for debugging purposes Okay, so now the next step I need to explain you is that you need to create an array. So uh, what will happen is that this statement is going to select multiple rows. Okay, this particular statement is going to select multiple rows. So what will happen is that uh, the return object is QUR and we are uh, putting in a while loop. So this extract R, these are all the column names. Okay, by the way, these are the values for the column names that are retrieved. So the first value will be entered in the result in the this is like a for each loop what this thing that you see is a for each loop this and this okay you can use your own type of for each loop but uh, this way I find it comfortable that's the reason I use this one and also you need to note that if you are using a new version of PHP um, the, the MySQL query will not look like this it will be mysql i something so i am using the previous the 5.3 version of php so that's the reason you are finding this outdated the select statement but you can use the select statement as per the new version but the important thing is that you need to create an array okay so creating an array is really important to get multiple values so what happens the multiple values will get saved in this result array that i have created okay so after so basically the multiple values will be stored in the result so multiple values will be stored in the result array okay and then this value will be echoed in the end okay so there is not much processing in this you just see that you have, you have to use this application content type json because um, this will help the browser the whatever code you're using that the app the type is json so this will just specify that and then you need to echo the variable so you see that the result array is stored in json so whatever result we had fetched over here is been stored in the JSON variable and then this variable has been echoed and we are using the JSON ENCO function so that it will, we get it in JSON format okay so this uh, this is the same file that is uploaded on top this is the same file that is uploaded over here to this get answers.php so I'm going to just scroll slowly so this is you can pause the video and note down all the uh, all the code you can pause the video and note down this code now I'm scrolling down again you can pause and uh, continue writing this code for your application so this is how you create a JSON uh, a PHP JSON file to retrieve values from the database these values can be multiple you can even select a lot of data together okay it depends on whatever select statement you're using 
the whatever select statement you are using the output will be based on the select statement okay so this was a really simple example you can even use you can what suppose if you pass in and suppose if you pass one if you write one more select statement and you pass that result in the array you will get a nested array so in that way you can get uh, multiple nested answers suppose so suppose if you have some categories and you have some sub categories so it will can be useful for that but that is much complicated i won't be explaining it in that in this particular video if you want that complicated video then please request it in the request in the comment section i will get that created for you that is suitable for creating categories and sorting um, data okay so basically what happens you have to call this url using your application and then whatever result you'll get i'll show you how the results are stored okay okay guys so this is the code where i use the url you see that i have called i have saved the url in a var variable this is just a text url this is now what you are seeing is javascript okay so not to be confused so in javascript i have used the dollar post function this dollar post is a jquery function okay so you need to include the jquery library and this is a sqlite statement this tx dot execute sql is an sqlite statement so in case you want a sqlite video a uh, video for creating an sqlite database uh, using javascript please mention it in the comment section i'll create that for you okay but for now in this video i'm uh, talking about web services so see you see i saved the url in url this is the url and i have saved it in url okay and then i've used dollar post okay so then the next this is the dollar post okay so we are getting in the success function we are getting data whatever whatever is output over here this thing is the data variable okay that will be stored in the data variable if you call the url that particular text will be saved in the url so now we got to see where data is used so i have used some uh, this is my uh, this is my chat application that i was talking about um, this is my chat application so it is just a type of sync thing so you need to ignore all this so the important thing is that the data dot length is um, greater i am going to see i have just put a for loop okay to retrieve the data i have used a for loop so this is the id this is the question and this is the answer okay i mean see whatever parameters are passed from here so this is the id actually here there is a big there is a mistake there should have been id okay so the id the question the answer and wait so i am saving particular ids uh, i am i am saving the particular attributes using a for each loop okay so this will first be one then two uh, it depends how many items are there in the array that are it depends how many items are there in this array okay so this is how you get the data in the variables okay you get it in the form of a object so the object name is data in this example so i hope this tutorial was useful for you um in case you have any doubts or questions about anything in this video that i have explained don't feel shy to mention it in the comment section i will try to help you out um if you want then i uh, i will also link the file in the description where you can uh, see the code or you can pause the video and see whatever code needs to be copied so thank you guys for watching this video i appreciate you watching my videos stay tuned and uh, subscribe if you want similar videos like this Bye-bye and take care.